Richard, I think one of the biggest challenges that I've I've yet to find any way to meaningfully address um, is one of the great truisms that you'll hear in the birthing community is that women become mothers the minute they find out they're pregnant, whereas us guys don't become fathers until the baby is born. Um, and that was very real for me, um, both the first time around experientially, like, you know, going through at pregnancy, uh, we passed over Father's Day and my wife was like six or seven months pregnant. She got me a Father's Day card and I was like, well, I'm not a dad yet. Like you don't, you wouldn't get somebody a graduation card in January when they graduate in June. That just doesn't make any sense. And so, um, I was very rooted in that reality. What was real for me of not being a dad yet. Um, whereas for, you know, Jen, she was a mom right away. Like what food can I eat? What do I need to avoid sushi or, or, you know, this type of soap or cleaning products? Like she's already taking care of the baby. Whereas I'm over there just whistling away, you know, thinking I'll be a dad in six months, you know? So when Justin first popped out, like now I'm a dad and that sort of emotional, physical, mental realization was really, you know, it was, it was an explosion of everything. Like my heart exploded, my sense of identity and time and who I am and what I need to do. Like, wow, I'm a dad now. And this, this little baby is looking to me, I need to be, I'm the dad to this baby. I'm not, it's not a dad in the abstract kind of thing. So, um, I think that was different. The, the second time around, I was already a dad. So I was, I was, I was ready and able and willing to, to hold my new baby. But I, I had re, I related to that pregnancy and that childbirth much differently because I was already physically and fully in that dad space. So I think that's sort of unavoidable for first pregnancy versus second. I, again, I don't know a way around that. Um, and that postpartum period, uh, again, I was really interested. I wanted to be like all in, like, I know a lot of dads out there have different responsibilities. They're working. Um, they have, uh, job pressures and different pressures that makes it even harder. But, um, I was really trying to be all in that first time. And again, I still struggled a lot. There wasn't, I don't think there's a book out there called like postpartum for dads or like what, what, how to be, uh, a good helper here. Um, we get taught a little bit about watching out for postpartum depression. Um, but again, we're just sort of vaguely told to be helpful and supportive as if that's something that's, that's helpful. And it's like, well, duh, I'm starting there, but what do I need to do? You know, <laughs> again, what do I need to do? Um, so I think the biggest thing I was able to do the first time that it was helpful that I'm really happy about was to really be a hundred percent behind my wife's breastfeeding efforts. It was really important to her to be able to breastfeed. She had a lot of insecurities around that, which is pretty common. Like, am I being a good mom? Am I feeding my baby? Are they getting enough milk? Am I doing it right? This kind of hurts, but I want to do it anyway. And so, um, I think I definitely recommend the guys to be as a hundred percent behind that as possible. A lot of us guys tend to get in problem solving mode, like, Oh, don't worry, we can just give them formula. And that that's, that's not a helpful thing to say when, when, you know, your part, your, when mama is trying to figure out how to do her breastfeeding journey. It may be factually true at some level, but it's not emotionally helpful. So I was able to shift into a much more emotionally supportive place. Um, and again, just doing a lot of things. The second time I understood that like when she's nursing is not the best time to try to tell a complicated story. The first time I'm like, oh good, now I can tell you about this thing that happened today that I'm real excited about. And I would look over and she would just be happily gazing into the baby's eyes and, you know, I kind of felt left out. And that's a common theme I think I probably should have started with. A lot of guys tend to feel left out in this postpartum. They're sort of left out experientially because they don't have that intimate bond with baby. That literally a birthright of the mothers that are doing the feeding and have birthed this baby. Um, and so we don't have that connection. But also, you know, I, I, I joke that if I was an illustrator, I would draw two pictures. One would be two stick figures of parents with this tiny baby in between them. And then the second one would be two stick figures of parents with a ginormous King Kong sized Michelin man baby in between them. And like the first is what you think it is. And the second is what it really is. Like the baby's reality, um, can easily be sort of like all consuming. And a lot of times guys just feel left in the dust. Like, wait a second, like you used to look at me like that. And now you're asking me for a bottle of water or something. And while you're looking, you're not even looking at me like where 
did I become chopped liver? So I think the relational challenges can be tricky to guys if they're not kind of understanding that that's what's going to look like a little bit going in and, and how to build that team uh, approach to both kind of buttress against that, but also you're already involved when baby gets there rather than all of a sudden trying to be involved and not finding that there's a space for you. I don't know if that was a really helpful answer, Richard. I kind of kind of spun around a little bit there, but um, it's a tricky it's a tricky time in the postpartum. And I think just sort of understanding your the best thing is basically just to do everything. That's one of the, my recommendations in the book is just do it, like the old Nike slogan, like whatever needs to be done for the first couple of months, just do it. Don't worry about like this seems unfair or I'm doing everything or I'm at work all day and then I come home and now I'm doing everything around the house and why don't we go on a date? Like, when do we get a chance to make out? You know, like these aren't the things that are helpful for those first couple months. Like just recognize it to yourself. Like don't deny yourself those thoughts, but just recognize it and just put it off to the side and focus on what needs to be done and uh, go all in on that. Cause that's what being a parent is and being a teammate is, 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 is stepping up and stepping in to what's going on. And so, um, I think there's just, there's just a lot of ways for dads to show up by looking for whatever needs to be done, just doing it and giving your, your, you know, your new mom, a partner, all the love and support as she's trying to figure out what does it mean to be a new mom also.